Hello and welcome to the Friday, March 29th, 2024 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. We've got another gem for the Malware Reverse Analysts here today from Xavier. Xavier looked at some pretty interestingly obfuscated JavaScript. It used sort of a number of different tricks to make analysis of the JavaScript quite difficult. It was created using UTF-16, so you had to essentially remove every second byte. Then there was a bunch of additional code that pretty much just well, it did nothing and that just served to sort of distract the analyst. Also, some commands were using aliases like curl was replaced with press for some reason. In the end, it uh, downloaded an async rat, a well-known remote admin tool. So that's what you ended up with here. And you gave essentially the attacker remote access to your system. The original name of the file was Rechnung, then a set of numbers, pdf.js. Rechnung is the German word for invoice. So it apparently tried to claim to be an invoice PDF, which of course we often see in email attachments. The virus total score came in at only three out of 59. Now, I think it was about a month ago when we had some attacks against Team City and this JetBrains product got in a little bit of trouble here with a security company Rapid7 for releasing patches without disclosing their security content. And with that, of course, administrators were kind of flying dark. Now, there was couple of articles I at least saw today that uh, published about the just released version of Team City. That's version 2024.3. And the security section here has sort of that single sentence, 26 security problems have been fixed. However, there is also a link to a security bulletin page. And while you have to sort of get to the right fix version. There are now details for at least seven of the vulnerabilities. Wouldn't rate any of them uh, critical here. There's sort of uh, some cross-site scripting issues. The uh, XML, XML entity one uh, may be interesting here and some two-factor authentication bypass vulnerabilities. So take a look at them. Uh, maybe it'll help you justify upgrading to 2024-03 and hopefully also help you a little bit with detection of some possible exploit attempts. And I hope Team City in due time will release more details regarding the other 19 vulnerabilities. And then let's talk a little bit about some vulnerabilities that sort of came up that you may want to patch before the weekend. One is Okta Verify for Windows. The auto update feature does allow for arbitrary code execution. This was patched in version 4.10.7. Again, only Windows is affected. Other operating systems that are using Okta Verify are not affected. And Google released an interesting report, may make some good reading here with a summary of all the zero days that they have seen exploited in the wild last year. They observed a total of 97 zero day, which is actually not a record, but significantly up from the year before. I think in part here, the numbers are a little bit noisy uh, from sort of year to year. What is sort of interesting is that actually the focus appears to be shifting a little bit from sort of end user systems to enterprise systems as you know systems like Windows, uh, iOS, uh, Android are implementing a number of features to make it more difficult to create exploits. The focus shifts a little bit more on so some of the enterprise software that we have often talked about here, which well pretty much has very crappy sort of underpinnings and does have a rich reservoir of unpatched vulnerabilities. And of course, with that also enables access to some very valuable targets. Also in part, an interesting feature here is that commercial surveillance vendors 
are sort of leading the pack here when it comes sort of in the increase of uh, zero day exploits. These are these essentially spyware, high end spyware vendors that are often selling uh, their exploits and their products to government customers. Well, and this is it for today. Hope you all have a good weekend. And before you leave, leave a like or a retweet or whatever you can do to make this podcast more popular. Thanks for listening and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.